The University of Sydney has 60,000 students, 1,700 of which currently reside on campus in the University of Sydney's six residential colleges. The residents of these colleges originate from all over the world and choose to reside on campus in order to have easy access to the university and engage in extracurricular activities organised by the colleges. This video will explore the physical structure of St John's College, specifically in relation to the dining hall, where residents pay for three meals a day, and the first simple entrance to, into the building. Food prepared by the college can only be eaten in the dining hall, and the hot meals served onto the plates are not permitted to be taken out of the dining hall. Thus, the only way that you can access the food that you're paid for is to eat in the dining hall. This video will look at two key points surrounding eating here at the college. Firstly, entrance into the college itself, and secondly, the travelling required from a residential room to the dining hall. Firstly, there are various different entries into the college itself. Three entrances on the Missenden Road side of the college, a side entrance on either side of the college, and one back entrance, which backs onto the university campus and would be most frequented by residents going to and from the university. The back entrance is at the top of a hill, and despite the lack of steps up this hill, the travel path is over uneven, dusty terrain that would be extremely difficult for those in a wheelchair to get up. This would instead require residents in a wheelchair to go up the paved path 50 metres adjacent to the side entrance, and instead gain access through one of the front entrances on Missenden Road, extending travel time by 5 to 10 minutes. The second aspect of the video covers the ability of residents to get from their room to the dining hall for the three meals a day that are catered for the students. Those who are physically disabled and in wheelchairs can occupy a ground floor room, but the dining hall of the college is located on the second level of the college, of which the two access doors are both at the top of a flight of stairs. Thus, access to the dining hall of those physically disabled is impossible. As exemplified by the two different crucial aspects of college life, St John's College is an example of a building where extensive work is required in order for it to be considered a disability inclusive space.